What's up, people? My name is Corey Gerard, and I'm here to talk about struggles. Yes, people, struggles is a word that people do not want to hear about, nor do they want to endure that very thing. They say that those in society who work hard will progress and obtain a great degree or measure of success. And at the same time, you see plenty of other people who do not appear to work as hard as you do. But nevertheless, they have that great degree of success. Go figure, right? You know, many apply that thing, which is work smarter, not harder. Yep. That is an, that is a, an applied practice. I think it means find the easiest possible jobs that you can make the most money on or work your mind harder than you would your body I know people want me to explain that well, look at all those stockbrokers and investment bankers sitting at various desks and cubicles, which are operating out of a computer and laptop. And they pretty much have a talent at figuring in outcomes and projections of many types of business affairs. Hey, it's not hard to find out which companies are doing good and which companies are doing bad. And then you will know which ones to invest in and which not to. But they coined the phrase at being most expertise at that. All those business brained people that sit at those desks and work those figures and numbers. You notice they're working their minds rather than their bodies. So they're not at some factory lifting heavy objects or doing sweatshop type labor for a decent wage of pay. Yes, that's another example of working smarter and not harder. One of the ways that I see it is people do not want to think that hard. I've heard people say that, hey, I don't want a desk job. I would much rather be in the thick of the action working, moving my body or moving their bodies. Yeah, people or many people would choose not to think 
and preoccupy themselves with matters in which would take a great extensive amount of brain power focused on a matter in particular. So you might say that they take great value in working their bodily more so than their mindsets. And there's nothing wrong with that or them for choosing that option. Yeah. All struggles ain't necessarily in regards to your types of works that you do. Because there are so many types of struggles. Hey, there are too many types of struggles. I know you want another example. Well, there are also relationship struggles in which things might not be going well for a couple or couples in general. And with that being the case, one or both parties in a relationship have to work at making things much better. Yep. There are certainly struggles involving certain substances in which people abuse. And you know, they call it substance abuse, which is a a bad struggle because anytime you focus your mind 95% of the time on a particular thing that you really don't need, then it is a definite problematic in your life. Hey, I'm not trying to preach to anybody now, <laughs> but sometimes I come across as being a preacher Hey, people, it ain't nothing wrong with that either. And finally, I get one more. People struggle with their weight. <laughs> that means they're not comfortable at the weight they're, they are at. <laughs> I've sometimes had that problem in my life and I sum total it up as being the case where food tastes too damn good. Yeah, food is just of such a good variety and of a plentiful amount that it's hard to just say, hey, I'm a only eat the healthiest type of stuff and leave all of the the food that I shouldn't have alone. Hey, the best tasting food is of the fatty kind. Hey, it's too much of that. I can make a huge stack uh, uh, stockpile grocery list of all the bad food that tastes the best. The way I see it, one way or the other, anybody is going to have some type of struggle. But the objective is to minimize your struggles. Hey, it seems like every time I want to get a key point out, some loud vehicle drives by. I think there's a saboteur out there. 
looking to throw monkey wrenches in my plans. Hey, it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs>